Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing a clean and organize with me for my kitchen, quarantine edition. Obviously I have a lot of free time this Saturday so I'm going to take you through uh, my whole uh, cleaning routine when I'm deep cleaning my kitchen. Um, so how to go from this to this. So let's get started. First thing I like to do is start with the dishwasher. So um, you're gonna see a lot of me uh, lip syncing and dancing around because I have my Alexa on loud, but I'm just taking out all of the clean dishes and just putting them away um, just generally where they need to go. I'm gonna get into each you know, drawer and whatnot eventually, but um, that is kind of where I start. Here I'm just kind of moving the mugs around so I can fit things in better um, to make sure I have enough room for everything. We have a wine rack, so that's why that wine glass is just chilling right there. <laughs> and now I'm putting all the dirty dishes back in, you know, pre-scrubbing, whatever I need to. Uh, there's a couple pots and pans in there that I can't put in the dishwasher, so you'll see me uh, start soaking those and getting those ready to be hand cleaned. I promised I wasn't wasting water in that clip. I was filling up the pan to be soaked. <laughs> um, now I'm just kind of taking some of the trash away, moving things off the counter that don't need to be there. Okay, really quickly, I want to show you guys what I use to clean my entire house. Um, I am not like a full-blown oils fanatic, but I am trying to switch over to non-toxic things. Um, I have been doing that for probably the last year. So this is what I use. It's from Young Living. It's the Thieves um, Household Cleaner. This is like the 84 ounce, or I'm sorry, 64 ounce bottle. Um, so I've had this for almost a year and I still have probably that much left. Um, so really what I do is I just take one of these like glass bottles that I got off Amazon just put a little label on there. I fill this up with water. I can't do this with one hand. Hold on one second. There we go. I fill this up with water, probably about, you know, 99%. Sorry if you can hear my dog playing with the ball. And then I put in um, like a slash of Thieves Cleaner. Uh, sometimes I'll add some oils too. So lemon is really good for getting like sticky stuff off and it smells good. So I'll throw a little bit of that in too. All right, so I'm just filling that up with water. Um, I do use this for all of my surfaces, you know, for uh, you know windows anything that really needs cleaning the only other cleaning substance I use is baking soda so uh, I just put a little splash of thieves in I'll put my lemon drops in there I love lemon because it gets kind of the gunky stuff off so I usually put like 10 or 12 drops in there and then it makes it smell better too So now I'm just kind of starting with um, different sections of the kitchen. So this is just kind of um, not a super used counter, but it just has like my essential oil diffuser and, you know, some cute stuff. So I'm just wiping everything down with an eco cloth, making sure to get any, you know, food or gunk or what have you off of the counters. Um, if anything is like really stuck on, what I'll do is just spray and, you know, just kind of soak the spray in there and then come back. Um, I'm wiping down my backsplash too, just making sure everything's nice and clean. So now I'm putting my little tray back. I got that from Target from the Hearth and Hand collection. So I just have my um, diffuser on top and then just, you know, these cute little display uh, sugar and cream containers that I put actually some of the essential oils in that I use on a regular basis in the kitchen. Still looking for a cute place to um, hide that really obnoxious cord, but you know, what can you do? I still have my Easter decor up, so there's that. I don't take that down until like early May, but whatever. All 
Alright, so now I'm back to the sink area. That's just a little display wooden thing that holds like my soaps and lotions and whatnot. So it gets a little gross every once in a while. So I'm just wiping that down and then I'm wiping individually, you know, everything that goes on it just to kind of get the dust or dirt or what have you off. So um, you've got my hand soap, hand lotion, I've got a hand sanitizer. Um, that little spray bottle is um, vegetable and fruit spray that I use to clean off my produce and then my dish soap. And now I am working on the dishes that need to be hand washed. hand drying those and then I'll put them away wherever they need to be put away so pretty straightforward now I'm moving over to my oven it gets kind of gross in there um, so I just took the uh, grates off and I'm just spraying that down along with my microwave. I obviously spit up this clip. So I'm just wiping everything. I'm going to get all the food and grossness out of the sink. We just cooked, you know, in the morning. So there's just like meat and disgustingness all around it. Again, I'm using the um, Thieves cleaner on the entire kitchen. So nothing new there. Right, now that that's clean I'm putting the grates back on and then that's my little spoon rest that I got from hearth and hand and then a little tea uh, pot all right so moving on to my fridge um, I cut out some of this clip but I did take a lot of the food out and went through like what's you know expired and you know what needs to be thrown out so those drawers in the middle I put my produce so I'm just kind of putting that back um, in a way that makes sense I try to split it up with fruits versus vegetables, but I feel like I always have more vegetables than fruits, so I kind of just try to fit in whatever can fit in best. I actually, you know, organize the um, sauces and stuff off camera, so I just kind of wiped those down and again went through what was expired and what wasn't. Now moving into uh, the little space in between my produce shelves in the bottom. There's just like a little extra space. So I, you know, things get stuck down there a lot. So I just kind of pulled out what I could and um, wiped it down. And then usually we just kind of put like extra stuff that's like skinny in there. Um, so a lot of like, you know, the quesadillas and drinks and, you know, some of the leftovers and whatnot. Okay, so moving into the middle drawer, we personally keep our um, cheeses and deli meats and stuff in the middle, and then we keep drinks on the sides. So we've got a lot of um, seltzer in there right now, or like beer, you know, cans, whatever. Um, there were a lot of dried crumbs, so I just took my hand back and just kind of went through and, and grabbed those. I figured it was quicker, so I did that. Now I'm going through each thing to figure out, you know, what I need to toss, what I need to keep, and then putting it back after I wipe it down real nice.
And throughout this video, you will see my dog Finley because he has to be on top of me no matter what I'm doing. So, especially when there's food involved. All right, and I just quickly went through my freezer, organized that into, you know, desserts, meats, vegetables, and then like miscellaneous. Um, so we don't have a pantry. We just have like a lower and a topper topper top cabinet so um i just kind of went through it's really hard to organize this thing and i do need bigger and better um storage bins but i try to just break it up as best as i can into certain areas um you know when we go grocery shopping obviously it's a mess and then you know as we start eating things it gets a little better so right now i'm just pulling everything out and trying to reorganize as best as i can that is the one thing that is lacking from this house is a pantry so I'm just wiping it down right now. Um, that container right there stores like our chips and like snacks and stuff. I do have some glass containers that you'll see in the top shelves, but this is kind of just like leftover stuff like pretzels and, and that kind of stuff. So that goes in there. And then the other one has like breads and rolls and um, grains, things like that, like breakfast, oatmeal, pancake mix, things like that. Um, I try to put things in like glass storage containers or mason jars when I can. So there you'll see there's cereal in the middle. And then we've got potatoes and onions, rice, and then canned goods. So that all goes in there. And then this is my top shelf. It's just got glass containers with some things we eat a lot, seasoning, Scott's snacks, um, snacks that didn't fit, my snacks, um, seeds and like berries and stuff for salads, um, our butters and Nutella, and then popcorn. Uh, so that's just a random thing I just kind of reorganized. Um, this is our water bottle and small appliance container, so just reorganizing all of that. Um, we're trying to um, shuffle out a lot of our plastics, so I did get rid of some of those. In that little blue bin you'll see that's where we keep the lids so i just kind of reorganize all that and make sure it looks good and then up there yeah small appliances and like our smoothie stuff so i just kind of keep um, the nutribullet accessories up there and you know all that good stuff so just pulling that stuff down and rewrapping everything and making it look nice from Scott. He's probably saying something to me that made me laugh. Hand mixer. And that little plastic bin up there keeps all the um, Nutribullet like lids and like the blender and stuff like that. So just put all that stuff in there. You don't use like the smoothie stuff a ton or the things up there a ton. So that is what that looks like and that looks like. So this is like an awkward um, middle like corner shelf that we have. Um, so we personally use this for like baking and coffee and stuff, um, as well as like paper goods. I hate this um, this cabinet because it's just so deep and it's really hard to keep everything organized. So what I've kind of started to do is just um, get Lazy Susans and put some of the things that we use on a regular basis on the, re the Lazy Susans and then the things that we don't use as often like off to the sides. So the first layer is all like coffee and tea stuff. So like um, my stevia packets, um, you know, the coffee filters, um, all that kind of stuff that we use regularly, you know, coffees and teas in a, a tin. Um, and then we have um, sugar, coffee grounds, and collagen peptides in those glass containers next to the coffee maker. Um, the middle one is all baking stuff again. And then the top one is where we keep like paper products, um, where we keep like um, our jello shot containers, etc. Uh, these are pots and pans, so I just kind of, you know, fixed those up. It's nothing like super crazy. I already had like a storage system for those, so I kept that in place. Always trying to figure out with these corner cabinets, like what the best way to go about using them is. 
Um, and this thing gets a little messy every time because it's hard to remember like what can go where with pots and pans. But um, I try to do my best every time I put things away to put them away neatly as opposed to my husband. So there you can see with a huge walk, we didn't know where to put that, um, and that pan is obviously hanging out. But that's kind of just how we keep everything. Not the best, but it, it is what it is. All right, so I'm gonna leave this cabinet alone because I actually organized this this morning. So I just have my plates and my bowls and like my little bowl thingies, and then some small serving plates up here. So I'm just gonna leave that there, and then same thing with my cups. Um, these are just regular drinking glasses, mugs, plastic cups and wine glasses. So I'm just gonna leave that alone. Um, this is our spice cabinet. I'm actually gonna leave that alone as well because I am staining a spice rack thing that's gonna like go on the um, counter and I'm also gonna um, stain this to the same color as our island. So I'm also gonna ignore that but it is kind of a hot mess right now um, with everything everywhere. So I'm not sure what will go in here once we're done but that's another day, another story. So moving on to the dreaded Tupperware container uh, drawer and where our mason jars are and some of the baking measuring things. So it's kind of hard to see in this clip, but we have, we're trying to move over to more um, glass containers. So, and a lot of our containers are being used right now with quarantine, lots of leftovers. But um, so what I did was just kind of matched up every lid with every container and then any containers or lids that didn't have a match, I tossed um, and then, you know, tried to just kind of you know make sure everything had a match and then I use that big storage thing to put all the lids um, and then the ones that can't fit I just stick behind it so then I put all the glass containers on the bottom shelf because those are the ones I want us to use more so again we don't have a ton right now just with um, all the leftovers we're using but we do have them and then I do put the plastic ones on top We also keep our shot glasses and stuff in like a little blue container everywhere, but um, yeah, I mean, this is um, kind of where we keep just random things that contain things, I guess. <laughs> and those are all the mason jars that we use baking measuring cups and stuff like that so I'm just reorganizing those making sure that they have lids and that's the final product there shot glasses plastic and then baking and then extra room this is just where we keep our large um, appliances so I just kind of reorganized that as best I could but again not beautiful um, this is one of two junk drawers we have this is kind of like the main junk drawer I don't even pretend to really organize it anytime I organize the kitchen I just kind of take out what we don't need in there um, and then you know try to nicely put it back but I don't have a process or a system for this nor do I really need one but um, this is just me kind of going through everything and figuring out why things are in here I have a lot of things in plastic baggies you'll see um so those are like for my letter board um, i've got like batteries and stuff um there's like birthday candles which i'm gonna put in a different drawer it's just making sure everything has a place really and you know organizing it so i'm gonna wipe that down and then reorganize also if you couldn't tell i do change outfits here because this did take me two days so you will notice that there's an outfit change Again, not clean by any means, but at least the things that don't need to be in there aren't in there. Um, this is obviously a silverware drawer, so I'm just taking everything out um, and just wiping everything down, kind of reorganizing. My husband likes to put like things that don't belong in here a lot, so <laughs> I have to you know reevaluate a lot. 
comment down below if your husband does not organize like you do. So you'll put everything away, you know, neatly and then, you know, they just come through or your wife um, and, you know, terrorize. <laughs> Love you, Scotty, but don't follow the process very well. My zoodle thing is always like the demise of me. I never know where to put it. It's like crazy. These are like little gadgets. So I'm just cleaning that out. We also have some knives that don't fit in the butcher's block, so I have to always be careful with those, but that's where they go. Kebabs, you know, all that stuff. I'm not sure why the thermometer is just sticking up like that, and I didn't even care. <laughs> um, this is my koozie drawer. Um, I'm sure not many people have a koozie drawer, but I love koozies and I collect them. So I like to have them at a place to go. I don't know what that like stain on the bottom is. Please ignore that red looking thing. I don't know if that was my camera or what that is, but clearly I wasn't concerned. So I just went through some, some of the koozies that were like dirty or old. Um, and then I put the rest back in there. These fall out a lot. So you'll see that they get to like the other drawers sometimes. For example. There's another one. Oh, that's my wedding one. Again, didn't even care. Just shoved it in there. <laughs> um, and then this last one is, or the second to last one, this is like smaller baking um, measuring stuff. So um, I just kind of left that one alone because it looks good. And then these are where we keep like our dish towels. So um, I'm just cleaning that out and then I'm going to refold those and just organize them based off of like the match that they go with. You just saw my other dog too, Rocky. <laughs> Done. this is the second junk drawer um it's like a skinnier one this is where we keep like a lot of like um, medicines and cards and all our gift cards are in that um the little burlap thing that came um as part of the bachelorette gift i got when i got married so all our pens um those stay there and then the dog medicine doggy bags i don't even know what that is my for my camera and then some mail all right, that one is our um, grilling utensil stuff and other miscellaneous things. So um, I'm just pulling everything out. These, this drawer is also kind of a random one. But it gets a lot of like just random crap thrown in it just because it's close to like the basement. And um, I don't know, I think we just naturally just put stuff in here. So just pulling everything out as per usual, wiping everything down. Um, that little plastic thing is actually a divider. Um, I got those at Bed Bath & Beyond um, and they're great so you can kind of separate things out for these like big awkward drawers. So um, I'm putting that in the middle here. You can lock it. And then on one side I'm going to put, you know, grilling um, stuff since our sliding glass door is right next to that. So all of our, you know, big grilling supplies go there. And, the, you know, hand beaters, things like that. Um, that catches batter for our skillet. And that's the plug for our skillet, making sure that closes. That's just like a random container that has like our um, screwdrivers and hooks. And then those are just like for, you know, baking obviously. And then this is our plastic wrap and, and wrapping station. So I'm just pulling those little like last like three or four out of the bags um, or out of the boxes. And then yeah, pulling everything out again. Pulling that out. Oh, there's another one. And wiping it down. You know the drill. And 
sticking that back in there. So I do put like on one side, I do like the saran wrap, the foil, um, parchment paper, and then on the other, I do the baggies. So I just stick those in there just so it doesn't get so jumbled. And I'm just rolling those up until we finish them completely. And then last but not least is the area above the fridge, which kind of becomes a hodgepodge for us. Um, so in those top containers or, where, or um, cabinets are where we keep like um, our vases and things that we you know never pull out. Like I have a punch bowl in there. Um, we also have um, a, I'm blanking on the word, but what we use for a tray, sorry, for breakfast in bed. Um, that is a map that needs to go in the basement. So I'm just kind of I'm not gonna pull anything out of that drawer, but I'm just gonna make sure that, you know, the vases are in there and anything that can fit in there um, because I hate the clutter on top of the uh, fridge if we don't have to have it. It's a cake stand, so I try to fit that in there too since we don't use it a ton. And I keep the tray up there since it's kind of inconspicuous. All right, so then moving you over to this blue container, which actually holds our dog treats. Um, that's my lunch bag, which I don't know why that's in there. And then our grocery bag. So <laughs> moving all that out of there. But I just like to keep the dog treats up there because it's, you know, easy access for us to give them. So I'm just putting that back all together and making sure that nothing is loose and hanging out. All right guys, so that was my process of cleaning and organizing my kitchen. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks, bye.